Hey guys, LugaXC2000 here, and I'm filming on my iPod Touch right now. Um, as you can t um, tell by the last video I had, which was the Pokemon Platinum game case. Um, the reason being is because my camera charger is missing and I cannot locate it. Um, so, I'm just going to tell you um, about what I'm going to do today. Um, today I'm going to re uh, review the 4 Inch Collection series Kevin 11 figure from the original series Ben 10. I got this uh, Kevin 11 figure, um, like I think it was in July, um, summer of 2010. I traded with this user Kamini New FK. Um, she is a user on YouTube, and she was very nice. She traded me like um, four figures, um, a donkey figure from Shrek 4, um, some. Ben 10 pod figures and some cool comic books. Um, so, yeah. I promised that I would be reviewing the Ultra Ben, Vilgax, uh, Ben Wolf, and Kevin 11. I already did Vilgax and, ben, um, and Ultra Ben already, so I thought I'd start reviewing Kevin 11. So, stay tuned for a new video. Okay, guys, so. As you can see, it is a standard 4 inch figure, um, so if you don't know how 4 inches um, looks like and you don't have a ruler, um, this is approximately how tall, like, or how big 4 inches is. It's not that big. Um, and this figure is really cool. Um, I like it because it has, like, clip-ons, um, so I'm going to show you, like, a close look at Kevin's face. He has a cool arm piece. Uh, Kevin Inu FK did not have, there was like, um, a missing piece here, it was supposed to be another fire piece, but it's okay, I really like this figure, uh, it's really awesome. Uh, here's the back side of it, you can bend his knees actually, and you can turn them 360, uh, which is pretty cool. And his arms can move 360, same with the fire arm, and his regular arm, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of detail in this figure, um, like, it looks just like the show, except for the back pieces, because of course the screws and this part right here, so, but other than that, it's pretty good, um, so I'll just take this arm off, and the head, and here's Kevin 11, and he's, you know, he's got his, like, mean look, looks like he can get away with anything. He has his, like, um, that's a necklace, I believe, or it's just a chain with a lock on it. Uh, his head can go 360, um, and I already went through the other articulation, except for his legs. Um, I forgot to go over legs. His legs can go backward and forward, so, about halfway, which is, like, about 180 degrees, and... He is really cool. Uh, he stands up pretty nice. Um, there's not that he doesn't really wobble too much when you try to stand him up. Uh, he's really cool. And um, to get the pieces back on him, what you have to do, you just put his arm into his other arm, and then his head into his head. Uh, what Bandit could have done is they could have made a, a separate back piece this and attach it but overall um it's a decent figure uh you should if you see it on ebay you should really get this um or if you see it like at a flea market or whatever or your friends have it just ask them to trade you or if you can buy enough of them um if i were to give this figure a rating i would rate it a 10 out of 10 that's how good it is uh and if you don't want to buy this off of ebay or anywhere else um you have luck because um there was my friend, the Malcolm009. You should subscribe to him. Um, he actually um, told me that Bandai might be releasing a three pack with Kevin11, uh, Gwen as Lucky Girl, and the original Ben Tennyson in one three pack. That's three figures. Uh, I think it's going for a low price. I'm not sure yet. But what Bandai is trying to do, they're trying to make their figures like. I guess uh, cheaper price so yeah uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to 
the Malcolm009, Caminino FK, and subscribe to all of my other subscribers, and I'll see you next time with a new video.